So we're trying out a new look today. What do you guys think? And if you're new here, this may come as a surprise, but this is actually a wig. I've been using wigs as a protective style for a number of years now, for a number of reasons. One of which is that it's a really easy way to change things up pretty drastically. Today's unit is from Hair Vivi. It's a new style that is glueless, super easy to wear, and very, very versatile. It's cut and styled with curtain bangs, so you can go for a more feathered look with lots of layers. You can wear it with a side part, or just this really simple um, back swoop that is a framing to your face. I really think you guys are going to like this one, and let's get started with the process. And of course, thank you to Hair Vivi for sponsoring today's video. So to save time, I styled the wig off camera. The natural texture of this wig is straight with maybe a little bit of wave, but it's not too fine and too silky to not look natural for someone with kinky hair like me. Personally, I don't like when straight hair is too shiny. I don't think I can make it work. This is my braiding pattern. I have a lot of hair, so it takes me kind of a minute to um, braid it all down to get it underneath wigs, especially wigs that are straighter and uh, silkier in texture. I try to avoid as many bumps as possible, so I do two rows of cornrows. It also makes it for a much easier um, midway takedown process. I don't have to redo my entire head, maybe in a week or so when I wanna move into another style. Because I have so much hair, I did order the size medium cap in this wig. The wigs come in two sizes, both small and medium. Um, I opt for the larger size, obviously. And as long as I can get my hair underneath secured down very, very well, it fits perfectly. Obviously, it's not secured down yet, um, but this is just the initial look at the hairline. Uh, it looks super natural. But what I really like about this curtain bang style is that it's going to cover a lot of the front so I don't have to work on it being too, too perfect. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to these wig hairlines and this takes a lot of the stress out of it. Now I cut the front of the lace off camera because it's a lot easier for me to do it in front of the mirror without having to show you guys on camera. Uh, but I did leave the sides and I'm gonna show you how I cut off the ear tab. Now this is a step that isn't required, but I do find it a lot easier to wear these and it's more customized and fitted to my head. So I styled the length of the hair off camera just because I wanted to focus on how the bangs are styled. Uh, the bangs were professionally cut to be very versatile so you can wear them um, either parted down the center as a side part or potentially long and in your face as normal forehead covering bangs. I think the look of center parted curtain bangs is so incredibly beautiful and flattering on most any face shape. Obviously, I love my natural hair texture, but I just don't think that I would have been able to achieve this look on my own hair. So this professionally layered and cut wig is the perfect option for me. I live in a beautiful but muggy tropical climate and I would not be able to achieve this straight style on my own hair. Not a chance. By the way, this blow dryer I found at Target. It comes with, I think, three different attachments. Uh, these are the ones that I use whenever I have straighter hair textures, and it makes it super easy to bend, curl, and shape, and style the hair into whatever style that I'm opting for. This smaller round brush is absolutely perfect for bangs. By the way, you will see an elastic band at the leopard print one that's going across my hairline. Uh, do note that I did not use any glue or spray in installing this. That's just for the purpose of securing it while I'm doing all the tugging and pulling and all that stuff from the blow dryer. So now we're just gonna pop that off and you get a preview of the final results. Look at that hairline. This hairline is so natural and so beautiful and I did not touch it with a tweezer, not a single time. So now we are just about ready to go with this style, um, but I do want to flatten it out a little bit more on the top of my head, so I'm gonna use a hot comb to do that. And obviously we want to warn you to be very careful when getting close to your hairline. Honestly, I wish that I would have kept the elastic band on for this part. 
and voila i'm just gonna do a couple adjustments here and there but otherwise i think this is ready to go um i don't like to go for so much of a sculpted look when i do straighter styles um that's not really my jam so i really like the how natural this looks and i'm also super into the added versatility of being able to part it uh, on the side with the bangs So now we're gonna go on to styling it on a side part. Uh, remember, this has been professionally uh, cut, layered, and styled to be able to do the bangs both ways. Now I can do a lot when it comes to styling hair, but cutting is not one of my strong suits. It absolutely terrifies me to cut these wigs. And I absolutely love that they took the time to cut and style these professionally so that I wouldn't have to do it because I would screw it up. Now, bear with me because it's been quite a while since I've done a straight hair or a side part for that matter. Um, and I just decided to quickly style it using the hot comb and the uh, little bend in the bangs that I already put in. Now, I think it would likely take a little bit more product, but I did a little bit more severe to the side and I think that looks really great. You can see I prefer more of a diagonal part. And once again, peek at the hairline. And you definitely don't have to overcomplicate this process. You can go from side swept to middle part pretty much with the shuffle of your fingers. And don't mind me here, I guess now I'm just kind of playing around. It's like I said, it's been a minute since I've done a side part and this is super cute. But now we're gonna go back to that middle part. Once again, I like it to look really natural, not so sculpted, um, so I don't do super straight parts. Um, I don't do super sculpted styles, especially when it comes to straighter hair textures. I think it looks a lot more normal and natural um, when it kind of just falls into place. So that is the final result. Uh, I really love the length of this. Uh, once again, I have this in the 18 inches, so it's like a very, very long, dark brown, natural color that really suits my skin tone. And of course, just like every other wig I've gotten from Hair Vivi over the years, the quality of the hair is absolutely beautiful. This was so easy to install, you don't have to be a professional. And most importantly, it's styled, cut, layered, and ready to wear. One note about this wig I do want to add is that I felt much more secure adding combs on the inside of it. That may just be because I want to wear it glueless and I have a lot of hair underneath. Otherwise, this wig is absolutely flawless. You can find this wig and more at HairVV.com. More details will be in the description.